A team of international observers says Serbia's snap elections were marred by several irregularities. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe alleged there were media bias, vote buying and ballot box stuffing. Preliminary results show the populist Serbian Progressive Party led by President Aleksandar Vucic won 46.7% of the vote. That's almost twice as much as the second-placed opposition alliance Serbia Against Violence. The opposition has called for protests this evening in the capital, Belgrade. Here's what one of the election observers had to say about the irregularities. It was no fair election. We should not speak about fair election. It was unfair. I can repeat the, the wording of the OECE lady. It was unfair. And, uh, and I think if you ask me as a politician, uh, then I said, I think the victory in Beograd was stolen from the opposition. The clear words right there. Let's go now to DW's Brussels Bureau Chief Alexander Fenomen. She joins us from the Serbian capital. Belgrade. Alexandra, the opposition says it's rejecting the results. It's called for protests. What's going on? We could hear something's going on where you are right now. Yeah, we are in the city center of Belgrade in front of the ele election committee and the people, and maybe our cameraman Martin could show you a bit around the people that you see around us, those crowds. There are supporters and members of the pro-Western opposition united under the name Serbia Against Violence. And they are here because they are saying they are not accepting those results. They think that the, the, the victory, at least here in Belgrade, was stolen from them. And that is why they are here and they demand from the election uh, uh, commission to cancel the results. There are not okay with what happened. They think they, they should have won here in Belgrade. And, and Alexander, you, you have spoken to members of the OSCE. Um, what, what did they tell you? What exactly did they observe that leads them to say that this election was stolen? Well, one of them told me that he personally observed ballot box stuffing. He saw fake ballots uh, being stuffed in the ballot box, and he saw uh, that he said that he could tell that they were fake because they were they uh, were printed on a different kind of paper, and they still had the official stamp. And we heard a lot of those uh, such reports with people uh, being uh, intimidated, being threatened with losing their jobs if they don't vote for the ruling party. There are also reports about people who were brought in buses and vans to the city of Belgrade from outside the country. 40,000 new IDs were issued according to the opposition. So the European election observers, they were sort of diplomatic saying that they can only observe. It's not up to them mm -hmm. to make any assessments, assessments or to call for the cancellation of the votes, but uh, the uh, independent Serbian observers of the election are more outspoken, at least saying that what happened here in Belgrade, the official results in Belgrade do not represent the will of the people. Alexander, you could be standing in, in what is the middle of Europe's latest political powder keg. Um, what can we expect to happen next, realistically? Well, of course, I ask people here whether they believe that anything can change by them taking to the streets. Some uh, are hopeful, others are saying we need more radical means to bring about a change in Serbia. Some are saying the European Union needs to put more pressure of President Vucic and his government. But of course, the Europeans are afraid that uh, in that case, mm -hmm. uh, he could turn more in towards uh, Russia and that Russia could gain even more influence here than they already have. But definitely a volatile situation. We know that you will keep us up to date on what's happening. DW's Brussels Bureau Chief Alexander Fenomen with the latest from Belgrade, Serbia tonight. Alexander, thank you.